Hey folks, welcome back to the Films 128 channel for another episode of this photography series. For this one, I took out Old Faithful, the T70, and shot on a film I've never shot on before, Ilford's Ortho 80, which, for those who don't know, Ortho 80 will kind of crush the reds. Uh, it's not sensitive to the red color spectrum, so orthochromatic film. So anything that's red will show up as either dark gray, if not black. Uh, I, from what I've seen, it seems to be really, really good for portraits, actually. It, that's where I noticed the most effect of the film. Um, that's not what I did here. I kind of put it to the test with this old area. I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically this old colonial looking area. Uh, at this park nearby and shot around there just to see what I get. The photos all came out pretty good. There's nothing but it's not that it says that oh that film did something really cool for you because there really wasn't anything for it to do. Um, but it still it still was an interesting experiment with the film I think and there was some stuff that had a red tint to it so it, it got a little bit of a reaction. At least I think there was. We'll see. Let me show you the video part, the vlog part of me out there shooting this stuff, and then I'll show you what I got and we'll hit it in Photoshop if necessary. So, here we go. I guess I'll read some of the signs and get an actual, you know, idea of what era this stuff is from. Yeah, so they moved it. So this little old timey village has just been kind of piecemealed together from various donations and yes. Just happened to catch my eye. There's holes in the bottom of this structure and you can kind of see through and the inside is really cool I wish you know it was open but it's not so but I might be able to sneak the lens in there let me show you what I'm seeing sorry for the shaking How creepy is that? Lordy.
There is a lot of possibilities in this area. Lit well, luckily the sun's right behind me. Forgive the angle of the camera because I got the tripod right here because I'm going to need it for some of these super slow shutter speeds as they're going to be necessary. I'm going to use the timer since I don't have the cable release on me. It's looking like, like maybe 0.6 six of a second or so. Again, the uh, camera's just leaning on something, so bear with the angle probably not being the best. That's a weird shot. Tenth of a second. It's just this chain bottom. It just looks weird because you can see the beams above it. It's neat. I hope. Very slow shot. So that's it. Cool little area. Lots of potential photos. Hopefully something good has come out. Won't know until I get it back. All right, back in the uh, dark room, I guess we could call it. The digital dark room. This shot's kind of cool. Oh, you can see the bell in the reflection. Now see that door was red. So it's a little bit darker probably than a normal like panchromatic film would have shown it. It's kind of cool. Ooh, I like that. Let's take a look at that closer up in Photoshop. There we go. All right, slight straightening needed. Not much, just a little bit. Quick crop. Let's play with the uh, curves here for a second. Uh, that's a sh that's a cool shot. I really like that. That came out cool. Neat. I'm happy with that. Save that. Oh my lord! That was the spooky shot inside. Holy cow, look at that. That is so spooky. I like the haloing effect from the light coming in. Let's definitely bring this in Photoshop. That's number nine. Okay. So let's get that instead of dark gray, that's pitch black. Will Autotone do it for me? Yes! Oh, wow. I don't know if I want to do anything to, uh, else to it. God, that is a spooky image. Look at that with the dang it. Oh my god. I'm going to leave that alone. I actually like that a lot. think of how I got that just kind of forcing the camera through a crack in the wall neat yeah definitely oh, that one came out kind of cool too a lot brighter than I thought it would be though I mean it was pitch dark in there I don't understand I lowered the shutter speed to get as much light as I could but I didn't think it would be that much let's take a look in Photoshop we can just e let's see auto tone let's take a look at curves again. I want it to pop, but I don't want to... There we go. Crushed the solid white just a tiny bit. Uh, don't. Never mind. J 
change my mind. It's not bad. Let's just crop it where I, you can see the uh, piece of wood here as I was trying to sneak the camera in a little. Let's come in a little bit like that. Maybe come down a little bit. I'll center it maybe. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I like it. Um, let's burn in some of this foreground wood. Because it should be under the bed, so it should be in shade. It's, I don't know, what the light must, I don't know where the hell the light would have been coming in. Especially under the freaking bed like this. Okay, and now with the shadows a little bit. Yeah, make the shadows stronger. I like it. Um, can I blur the... I want to try to blur that out a little bit more. I want a shallower depth of field than what I originally shot. Let's see here. And let's just burn in the top right here, because why would this be so lit? Why is it so lit? I don't know. I don't understand why there's that much light in there. But, yeah, just a little bit, and then crush that down just a tiny bit like that. Okay. I'm kind of good. I'm good with that. I, I like that. Save. That's another cool shot. Yeah, really cool. I like it. Okay, one of the other ones through. All right, quick auto tone. Really didn't do much because I think I the film looked like it got what it needed to. Um, let's see. I like it. I really like it. I love how the foreground is completely out of focus. The background's completely out of focus. Literally this plane right here is the only thing in focus. I really like that image. That really came out cool. 22. Yeah, let's look at 22. I like it closer. All right, let's see. Quick auto tone. Not much going on there. Uh, let's look at curves again. A little too much, too much. Yes, there we go. Bring those up. Whoa, too far, too far. Losing the quality. All right. Let's. Definitely got to get that darker though, because that is blown out like crazy. Let's darken this a little bit. Darken this wood a little bit. Darken this metal. Just a gradual build up. There you go. That's what we're looking for. There it is. Look at the texture you can see on it. That was what I was hoping would happen. Perfect. Let's darken that wood a little bit. Look at that texture. That's perfect. All right, let's go into the highlights. A little bit, a little bit. I don't want to lose all the highlights on them because it's what's helping the detail all that texture, it's what's helping the texture stand out. 
That's pretty good though. And just a little bit down this wood so that it's just a little darker. That's cool. I do like this shot a lot. Love the texture that you can see through it. That's really cool. I like this. Very good. Um, we'll do a save on that. Excellent. That weird rope thing down there. That's actually not bad. Let me look at that one. Let's crop it in a tiny bit so I don't see the piece of house right there. And a little bit right there. I'm burning the grass a little bit. That's cool. That's not too bad either. All in all, some pretty cool shots. I, oops. I'd like to mess with that ortho film a little bit more though. Um, I wonder how that would look like in like a city area or something where there's a lot of different because where I went, there's a lot of browns and tans and everything. Um, something with a lot more reds in it might be interesting to see what the, the ortho film does. But either way, it was a lot of fun, and I love some of those interior ones that I was able to sneak through the, the holes in the walls there that were just enough to get the lens to peek in. I think everything came out okay, though. It's pretty cool. Uh, a fun shoot. Liked some of it. Very happy. All in all, good time. So, I guess that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, like, subscribe, visit the Etsy store, help me out, and uh, I will see you next time. Oops. Okay, I'm going to have to go over this or under this. We'll go under. Whoa. Record, Brian. That's the problem. Start over. Now the screen capturing is actually going.